So we're finally going to be reviewing yung pinaka-controversial na GPU in recent years ng NVIDIA and that is the 4060. Specifically, ang review natin is yung Asus Dual. And titignan natin kung ano nga ba yung controversy dito sa GPU na ito. And most importantly, we're going to answer the question, para kanino ba tong GPU na ito? I'm Rocky the Programmer and this is the Asus Dual 4060 review. Okay, so disclaimer lang and of course with the recent controversies surrounding a certain YouTube tech channel, we feel now we have to be more upfront with these kinds of things. So yun nga, disclaimer, ASUS did send us this review unit pero wala silang say dun sa magiging content or magiging verdict namin dito sa GPU na ito. Actually, we're not allowed to keep it, we're going to be sending it back then. So honesty, wala kami lalokohin, onto the video. Okay, so simula tayo dun sa aesthetics niya. Nakita na natin tong GPU na ito and it's yung dual na line ng ASUS. Dun sa last na review ni Jay, ganun na ganun din yung itsura niya. Yung actually yung parang impression ko sa kanya para siyang yung halos parang yung mga bismuth na rock formation, mineral formation. Tapos um, it's very uh, medyo edgy, medyo gamery pa rin. Pero in my opinion, hindi siya yung sobrang OA. So laging ganun naman yung um, comments namin about yung dual line. Para siyang yung tough then in the sense na halos verging on minimalistic and also medyo gamery. So parang nandun siya sa middle ng design languages na yun. So it's a very simple card kasi yun nga, isa to dun sa medyo nasa lower end na product lines ng ASUS. But still maganda pa rin naman yung kanyang build quality. So yung iba pang ASUS related or ASUS exclusive na features ay yung kanyang fan design. So, doon sa mga product lines ng ASOS, ganun yung fan design nila. And based on sa mga na-review natin, never naging problem yung thermals. Also, doon sa software, nandun din yung ASOS na uh, GPU tweak where you can monitor and make adjustments doon sa mismo GPU like yung clocks, like yung mga fan profiles, so on and so forth. So, alright. Doon naman tayo sa specs which is yung pinaka-importante sa kanya. So, we did display na lang namin yung specs yun sa screen ngayon. And I want you to take note of yung three na important na specs. So, number one is yung, unfortunately, yung kanyang VRAM, which is only 8GB of GDDR6. So, tapos yung L2 cache niya na almost triple nung dating generation. And also, medyo disappointingly, yung memory bus, which is only 128 bits. Isa pa pala is yung kanyang PCIe configuration. So, it's a PCIe Gen 4 X8 na configuration. So, kung mapapansin nyo, X8 na lanes lang yung gagamitin niya. So, medyo magkakaroon ka ng problem dito if you're going to be upgrading your medyo old na system na. So, if your system only supports PCIe Gen 3, it's going to run on PCIe Gen 3 X8 na speeds. And, um, di na namin kailangan sabihin. Pero, um, that is going to be a severe hit dun sa performance niya. So, isa pang notable spec is yung kanyang TDP which is only 115 watts. So, napakababa niya. So, it is a dual slot card. So, medyo maliit lang siya. And it can be powered by 1.8 pin na PCIe power connectors. Okay. So, huwag na tayo magpatumpik-tumpik pa. No? Punta na tayo dun sa performance. So, dun sa testing setup natin, medyo iibahin natin ngayon. So, we're going to put it in two systems. So system 1 is a medyo ball to the wall na system, 7800X3D with DDR5 RAM. So this would represent yung kumbaga yung full potential ng GPU. Tapos lalagay din natin siya dun sa system ko which is A5600X and 16 gigabytes RAM lang na DDR4. So this would represent naman yung mga systems na most likely gagamit itong 4060 na to. So, lahat ng games natin nasa 1080p and 1440p. Tapos, um, naka-high settings, like ultra settings nila. And, um, i-indicate namin kung naka-on ba or naka-off yung upscaling technology, like DLSS or frame generation. 
So looking at the 1080p performance, may kita naman natin na medyo okay naman and medyo acceptable naman in terms of gaming yung performance niya sa ultra high na AAA games. So we're seeing in some cases above 60 FPS, 80 FPS. And pag meron siyang support for upscaling technology, nakakaabot tayo ng 100 plus doon sa 7800X 3D. Doon sa 5600X, meron lang discrepancy of 10 to 20 FPS at 1080p. And medyo nagpo-fall off yung difference niya kapag nasa 1440p. Kasi that means na nagiging GPU bound na completely at 1440p yung mga games sa 4060. And may kita rin natin dito na at 1440p, hindi siya ganun ka-playable. <laughs> In terms of, syempre, kung ang maximum na support ng monitor mo is 144, yeah, okay naman yung 60fps and it's not acceptable especially sa standards natin ngayon. But yun nga, NVIDIA is adamantly marketing this as a 1080p card and it shows. Okay naman yung performance niya and ayun nga, medyo acceptable and really playable yung frame rates niya. No problem here until i-compare natin siya doon sa previous generation. So kung i-compare natin siya sa 3060 and 3060 Ti, medyo nagpapalitan sila ng 3060 and 4060 which is like more than 2 years old na na card. Tapos sa 3060 Ti, medyo hindi rin niya kayang tapatan in some cases. So dito na kasi pumapasok yung memory bus with kanina. At 192 bits, talagang nagmamake ng difference yun, especially at the ultra highest setting ng mga games. Makikita natin doon sa graphs and sa performance reviews natin, medyo around 8% faster or 8% stronger yung 3060 Ti, which is an older card. Okay, so dito na papasok yung ano ba yung controversy. So ang pinaka kasi gist nitong controversy na to is that it's not that the 4060 is a bad card. Kasi yung bad can be interpreted in a lot of ways. Eh. It only becomes bad when you compare it to the previous generation. So, yung 60 na series kasi, when you say 760, 860, 960, 1060, yung mga ganong, yung series ng 60, it used to mean something. It used to mean na medyo lumalagpas ka na sa mid-year and medyo seryoso ka na sa gaming. There's a reason kung bakit for a very, very long time, yung 1060 ang pinaka-popular na GPU sa Steam users. And yun nga, kasi yung performance na binibigay niya, relative dun sa mga games available at the time of its life, napaka-acceptable and napaka-ganda. So yun nga, when you say 1060, medyo above budget na to. Medyo talagang you're dishing out money kasi you're expecting more than average na performance din. Ang nangyayari ngayon, and ito yung controversy, is that yung 60 series ay na-demote. Yung dating performance difference niya sana, napupunta na siya dun sa market or napupunta siya na dun sa parang space ng 50 series dati. And dati, yung 50 and yung 50 Ti na series, those are talagang yung bang for the buck na cards. Naalala ko nun, yung GPU ko is a 7050 Ti and that was, I used that for so long kasi I didn't have really a lot of reasons to upgrade from that because it was a very decent card. It could play yung mga AAA games. Siyempre, may, hindi na siya ultra high settings but still very competitive pa rin and it's still a very enjoyable experience. So ngayon, ang nangyayari is na-demote na yung 60 series. So if you want to be serious in gaming, if you want to talagang crank up the settings and siguro may konting compromise lang here and there, you want to start with a 70 or a 70 Ti. And kung makikita natin yung prices ng GPUs ngayon, hindi mo siya maiisip na parang starting point ng isang gaming system. Talagang napakamahal pa rin nila. And that's also the same for the 60. You're getting a 50 series card for the price of a 60 series. And yun nga, yung jump ng 60 from the previous generation which is yung 3000 series, up to hanggang ngayon, yung 4,000 series, so parang hindi siya upgrade at all. Dati, ang nangyayari would be yung 3060 Ti, ang kapantay nun would be yung 70 or yung 80 series na. Dati, kumbaga, if you're jumping a generation, you're also jumping dun sa next na product line in terms of performance. You know, that's the same pa rin naman dun sa mga higher-end na cards. For example, yung 4070 Ti, ang katumbas niya is yung 3090 or 3090 Ti. So, mas mataas pa nga. Nakakalungkot lang na yun nga, yung 60 series, parang naitsapuera siya, tapos napunta siya dun sa parang bargain or parang budget line na. And that's the root of the controversy. Why are we pretending that this is a 60 series card? It's clearly a 50 series. Okay, so honestly, para kanino ba tong GPU na ito? I can only recommend this if you're going to be building a PC for the very first time. 
and you have a very specific na budget. So yun sinasabi ko na yung performance niya is very similar to the 3060 or 3060 Ti. But also, that's kind of medyo mali because yung power consumption niya is way lower than those two. So you're getting similar or medyo better na performance for even less na power consumption. So that's also one of the reasons why you would want to buy this instead of the 3060 Ti or 3060 if completely brand new yung PC mo. Ngayon naman kung mag upgrade ka, medyo mas maraming caveat. So if you have a 2060 and above, Mas magandang wag ka na mag 4060. Mag 4060 Ti ka na or 4070 if your budget allows or a 3070 or yung iba pang AMD offerings. Sa ngayon yung economics niya it just doesn't make sense to um, upgrade to a 4060 right now. Also isa pa, if you're upgrading uh, tapos i-preserve mo yung the rest of your system, make sure na PCIe 4 compatible yung CPU mo or yung parang pinakabuong system mo. If you have a 5600G or a 5500, malaking malaking performance hit yun. The fact na PCIe Gen 3 lang yung gagamitin niya na speed. Or specifically PCIe Gen 3 X8. So yun no, uh, I've been ranting and I've been um, complaining about the 4060. Pero itong specific na 4060 na ito, is, it's actually a really good 4060 na card. Um, Siyempre, Asus yung may gawa. They've been really consistent with build quality, with thermal performance power consumption niya, makikita natin na very consistent siya across the board. And that just goes to show na this is a very well-made na card. It just so happens lang na yung chip, which is, you know, that's simply out of Asus's control. Kasi yun nga, yung chip galing siya sa NVIDIA. Kulang yung chip in terms of yung ini-expect sana natin na uplift from the previous generation. But is it a good 1080p card? Yes! Kita natin sa tests and sa performance na okay siya, very playable and very good performance especially if you enable your upscaling technologies and since this is a 4000 series card, meron kang access sa DLSS 3 or yung frame generation. Yun. So isa pa na parang caveat here is yun nga, um, you really can't use this as a production or parang workstation na GPU. So baong nagpo-photoshop ka or like video editing or anything na medyo kailangan mo ng GPU acceleration kasi yun nga, doon sa mga limitations niya tulad nung yun nga, yung VRAM niya and also yung less na bandwidth niya than yung previous. So yun, medyo talagang talo siya doon. Yun, di na namin siya masyadong na-test kasi yun nga, this wasn't ever advertised as a good production alternative. NVIDIA really stated that this is a 1080p card and yun, we're, <laughs> we're kind of stuck with it. So yun, do we recommend this GPU? Yun nga, nasabi na namin yung parang mga conditions for us to recommend this to you. And, yun, it's, and it's up to you na if you can stomach the cost. Pero like, yun, wala kami masasabi dun sa build ng ASUS. Lagi silang maganda. Okay na okay yung build quality nila. Actually, yung dual, yes, yung parang medyo nasa lower end, that's the model or that's the uh, product line that makes the most sense for the 4060 actually. You really shouldn't go even higher, mas higher end na specs for, just for the 4060. Dual na to, saktong-sakto na siya. And kumbaga, what you see is what you get. <laughs> so if you like this video, please hit like and subscribe. It really helps us out. Join your aming Discord for, you know, mga community exclusive events and giveaways. Also, visit our website at hwsugar.ph for all your PC needs. Or punta ay dito sa aming store at Chino Roses, Makati. See you on the next video. Yeah, thanks for watching.